Good morning everyone. So it's currently 9.30 a.m. My alarm went off a couple of times since 9 a.m. And since we're from home, I've pretty much slowly adapted to this routine of just having my laptop with me when I go to bed so that I can easily log in and check any emails early in the morning. After I go through my emails, I'll go and brush up, wash my face, moisturize before I truly begin my day. So first thing I do is I'll set up my computer, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. But to start off my day, I usually like to have a really big glass of water or tea. So today, I'm having Fortnum & Mason's Earl Grey Tea. I really like this brand just because the tea leaves are so strong and they can usually withstand quite a few pours throughout the day. So a lot of times in my tea, I actually like quite a generous helping of honey just to sweeten it. In this case, I actually ended up overdoing it with the honey and it was honestly so sweet that it was enough for maybe two or three cups of tea. So this is my work from home setup. I already had two monitors prior to work from home in March just because I often worked on the weekends and late nights. I have my AirPods and also this device called the Upright that I recently got that's supposed to help correct my posture. Basically it vibrates every time I slouch. My two monitors, my keyboard, and my mouse are all from Amazon. I got it when I first started work and honestly, I was just trying to get the most affordable options at the time. Let me know if you want me to go more in depth into Upright, my posture corrector, or anything that I use for my work from home setup. So what does my day generally consist though? Well, to be honest, it truly varies. A typical day generally consists of maybe three to four calls, and usually during those calls, I'd be multitasking and working on other projects. Those projects generally consist of materials for meetings, which would be a mix of market updates, talk about how the industry is doing, valuation materials that go over what a company is worth or what a transaction could look like, along with an assortment of other kinds of pages. I'm just having a sashimi bowl that I quickly made from some leftover sushi I ordered for dinner last night. I absolutely love sushi, it's one of my favorite foods and even though this lunch was only 10 minutes, it was so enjoyable and it was good to have a break from work and not keep staring at the computer screen all day. I actually had a meeting in 10 minutes so I was trying to eat really quickly. And if you notice in a bit, I also have to continuously check my phone for any emails. I'd say one thing about investment banking is that people expect replies ASAP, usually within a couple of minutes, so I try to make sure I'm always available, no matter what time or day it is. <laughs> Honestly, I've enjoyed my work from home experience. It allows me to have more of a balance in my life rather than being in the office all day. While my hours are honestly just as long, I'm able to fit a lot more things into my day like cooking or spending time with my family. What I've learned from this job is that you'll never have enough time, but you have to make time. If you want to work out, set aside that chunk during the day to do it. You'll always have work just because of the nature of this job and you can't just keep waiting until a time where you'll be more free. Being a year into my investment banking analyst job, having a good work-life balance is definitely something I'm still learning to do. The 
definitely let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you want to learn about my job, any questions you have at all about the hours, the nature of the work, how I got it. I'd love to answer it in the comments or make an entirely new video from it. So since I'm working from home and the weather is still quite nice outside, I like to go for a short 10 minute walk during the day just to walk my dog bubbles and get some sun. I'll usually squeeze this in between calls or right after I send a project to be reviewed. So as you can see, Bubbles is honestly quite terrified of other dogs, but I'm slowly trying to get him to get used to meeting them. back from these walks, I'm usually a bit more refreshed and get to continue working and by this time I'll probably have gotten a few more emails with work or emails that I'll have to respond to. I'll usually keep working until around dinner time and on more free days I'll try to cook like I will today but oftentimes, especially when I was in the office, I'll end up just eating at my desk or having a super quick dinner with my friends. My work friends, I mean. Today I'm making a lobster pasta using some leftover lobster I had for another meal. For this dish, I'm chopping garlic, shallots, tomatoes, I grew in the garden, and lobster meat, mostly from the tail and block. So for the pasta sauce, I'm going to use olive oil, white wine, butter, and a variety of other seasonings such as salt, pepper, of course, garlic powder, and cayenne. I also added in some freshly chopped basil that we've also been growing in the garden as well. On the side, I'm just boiling some pasta while waiting for the garlic, onion, and tomato to simmer and cook with the sauce. Also, I'll just mention that this serving wasn't just for me. Since I was working from home, I decided to make this for both my parents as well, so it was split amongst the three of us. And it was honestly a good portion size. Get this go back, 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 back. So after dinner time, I'll usually continue to work until however late and squeeze a shower in between, as I did here. On the average day, I'd say I work until around midnight, but it could vary. On more chill days or less busy days, I might finish around 9 or 10 p.m. And on more busy days, it could go until 2 or 3 a.m. Or even until the morning. Honestly, oftentimes I don't get enough sleep and I'm in front of the blue light from my computer all day. So I really want to make sure that my face is well moisturized and that it gets all the necessary nutrients it needs. So here I just finished applying my toner from Kiehl's with the cotton pad and next I'm going to go in with a signature serum from Girlie. My skincare routine at night generally just honestly consists of applying a bunch of serums. Next, I'm applying this Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. I recently got it and I quite like it. I feel like it really brightens my skin and provides a nice moisture and I use it both in the morning and at night. Afterward, I just apply this facial cream both to my face and to my neck as well can't forget the neck and I also try to use this as an eye cream and really pat it in around the corner of my eyes to avoid any wrinkles in the future. So usually I'll end the night with my laptop in bed and clear my inbox so that's all ready for the next day and any new emails that come in. Generally no matter how late it is, I always like to end my night with some YouTube as a break from work. 
and that's the end of my video. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions or feedback from me below. I'd love to hear it.